Arsino, a woman in gold embroidered cloaks. Her eyes are molten gold and gleam brightly in her dusky face. Greetings, Commander. My name is um, Arsenio. I am a messenger from the Temple of Abadar in Absalom. I came here assuming the defenders of the fortress could use the services of a cleric. Uh, <coughs> hmm. I see you've consecrated the altar. And so I have. And before you ask me why I did this when this is a temple of Iome and Dresden, I will answer. Even though my god is the ally of the inheritor, some still prefer and pray to trust in Abadar instead of her. After all, my humble altar is no worse at removing the corruption of the abyss than the grandiose altar in the temple of Iome did. Mm, so the wound was right here and then disappeared and reappeared. Amazing. No, this is the first time I've heard of such magic. I think this is some kind of demonic corruption or the particles of chaos from the abyss have just entered through the wound of your body and made it so unstable. It's quite interesting. Incidentally, judging by the records of the research of the abyss, stranger things have been happening in that accursed place. Okay, how did you end up in Dresden? My story has grown longer and longer over the years, yet sadly, it never gets more interesting. I was born and raised in Absalom, and soon realized that bringing the word of Abadar to all the places it's already been heard was too easy of a challenge for a cleric like me. I've traveled all across Galarian, since then watching civilization and bringing enlightenment to the wildest of places. This brings joy to my heart and makes me feel like a god to my, with my deeds and not only my words. I serve my god. The tiny barony in the Solo Lands that had been my home for a very long time eventually turned into a strong and prosperous kingdom. I know. I know you, Arsenio. And I felt it was time to go somewhere else and bring the blessing of Abadar to someone who really needed it. <sighs> It'll take a long time for Dresden to recover and become an unfailing stronghold once again. I will do my very best to help. I'll be delighted to tell you about that. He teaches law and order. To... Okay, we're not going to read all this. Well, it's surprising that the mighty fortress the wonderful city is made over under her blessing. Oh, yes, I am an Asimar. Hard to miss. I look exactly like my great 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 grandmother. But I am the one, only one among my kin to have Asimar blood manifest so visibly in my appearance. I have to admit that it is for very fortunate coincidence. My Asimar features are rather appealing. And make people trust me more easily. This is a good quality to have for a priestess wishing to gather on creation. What services? I use the help of cleric. Which I see why I'm here. Okay, monk weapon plus three. Uh. 60,000. That's pricey. Oops. Whenever two creatures wearing different halves of this pendant are within two feet of each other, each gets a circumstance bonus on attack rolls and a circumstance bonus on AC. Wow. So if I put that on like Cam and Sela, and they're always up front together, they get extra. Well, uh, yeah, but Cam can't change. Ring of Pyromania. That's pretty cool. Red Salamander, we don't have the money for. 
If the wearer of this ring has the ability to grant spells simultaneously, it grants them the ability to cast the following spells. Fireball, Control Fireball, Fire Snake, Hellfire Ray, Fire Storm, and Fire Early Body. That spell needs to have a spell slot. Wow. Put that on Ember and... Headband also grants enchantment bonus to wisdom. In addition, whenever the wearer of this headband lands a killing blow with a melee weapon, their next spell becomes empowered. Wait, how much? Eight? Oh, gosh. Lands the killing blow with a melee. Um, that would be really good for... For Sela. Because I'll give her two to charisma and two to wisdom. Mm, that would be really good. Would not be surprised. Um. So yeah, we need 30,000. Con Man's Ring, Cape of Pest Control, kits that we can't use. Mm, mental Might plus two. Um, Wisdom and Charisma, Intelligence and Wisdom, Intelligence and Charisma. Interesting. So, Lan, where's Lan? Lan uses Wisdom, but then Strength? So these don't really play a factor in. Uh, say like you use the wisdom and charisma. She uses charisma for her. What does she use her charisma for? Expert magic. Yeah, she uses her charisma for her magic. So getting more charisma there would be pretty good. And getting more int would be good for her skill checks. What is she wearing on her head right now? Okay, that's giving her charisma. So... Wisdom and intelligence would be good for her. Um, Ninio, she's got wisdom, she doesn't need anything else. I mean, intelligence ready. Cam, we could get rid of this and give her thing, and that would give her. Yeah. Yeah, we might have to get that. Okay, so she needs wisdom and charisma. Or, oh, even better, wisdom and int. Yes, wisdom and int. Her charisma doesn't do anything for her. Wisdom and int. Okay, so wisdom and int. Wisdom and int. And for me, what am I wearing? I'm already wearing with intelligence and charisma. 
which is exactly what I would use. The wisdom and int. We might have to come back here after we sell stuff out of our journal, out of our uh, stash, but. Okay, wisdom and int. I really want this battle mage one for Sela, but for now, wisdom and int. Here we go. Wisdom and int. Int and charisma. Okay, we'll keep my int and charisma for me, and then on her, we'll take the wisdom and we'll put this on. And that will give her more skill points when we level up. I think. I think that's how it works. Well, it just gives her more ranks in those int skills. So that's good. Next, we just need to get this and change this from uh, strength and con to strength and dex. Uh, Oh, wait, he joined us as a companion. Oh, boy. Well, I'll bump his. <laughs> Great. Now I have, what is he carrying? He likes dwarven war axes. Oh, gosh, we're going to have to figure this guy out. Um... There's three axes though, and he comes with a belt of giant strength four. And a ring of protection one. Okay. So we need wisdom and int for her really bad. Yeah, she needs it more than she does. Cam needs it more. There we go. Yeah, that gives her... An extra spell slot. Should we put in there stone skin? So that guy, the, the comp companion I picked up, he literally joined my party. He's down in my party bar in the town as an actual companion that I have to like level up and put gear on and stuff. Well, I mean, he's cool. I like his voice and he's, he's like this assassin. He's a slayer, which is one of the classes I, I was interested in playing for myself. And they gave him, he starts with two plus three. Uh, he has a hand ax plus three adamantite frost and finesse wielding. And he has in his main hand a Dwarven War Axe plus three. So he's in pretty good shape already. He came with a belt of giant strength four, only a ring of protection one, 
no helm head piece. I put a little wisdom thing on his head. I don't know if that'll help him or not, but because that's all I had. I had that on me. And he's got a natural armor amulet plus one, so I could probably do better than that. But, I mean, I just figured out this afternoon, like, what my party is going to be. Like, here's the people that are going to be. Here are the five people I'm taking with me on the next time I go out. And I leveled them up, and I'm kind of excited to see how they're going to play together. And it's pretty much the girl squad. It's literally one, two, three, four... Uh, I'm missing somebody. Where's where's ROA? Uh, Inia, one, two, three, four. Oh, and this one guy, uh, Sosal, my cleric. And I was like, this could work out pretty well. I'm almost hoping that, I was hoping that maybe I could even drop the cleric and pick up another girl, one of the uh, other girls I have in my group. Uh, but the only other girl I have is a sorcerer style or oracle style spellcaster and she's I, I haven't had time to really figure out what i want to do with her um and then i have my other archer guy and if i pick him he comes with a pet and i was like oh this could be cool if i take him instead of my cleric but the cleric was so, he was he's so thin like his his armor felt weak for what the game was wanting me to do with him. And so I had to micromanage him and keep him kind of in the middle of the group and just healing. And when I did that, it was awesome. Everything kind of came together. So I feel like I've got a pretty good group. I had this gnome hell knight guy who had a great voice and great commentary. And he's more of a, he was built as a two, uh, they call it a gnome hook hammer. It's basically a double weapon. So it's treated like he's using two weapons, even though he's only got one equipped. And he was okay, but he's small, which means his damage is lessened. And uh, his armor is okay, but he, he just felt... He didn't feel like he was bringing to the group what... And I used him for two and a half days of play but the paladin i had earlier she felt i was i tried her both as a glaive using like reach paladin and i tried using her sword and board and in both ways she felt like a pretty good tank and since i've come back to town now and i'm reorganizing my party i threw all of my best gear on her that i could find um, and she's sitting here now at level 10 with a 31 armor class and 114 health. And I'm like, okay, so you've got a little less health than the other guy. And you do less attacks or turn than the other guy. But you do more damage when, or you can hit more often, hopefully. And you have spells. <laughs> and the other guy had nothing. So, but I love this trade-offs and trying to figure out how to play, but... I didn't realize I was getting a new guy to put in the mix. And you know that the quest that I was doing where I was trying to hire him to take this dragon down is going to require me to take him with, right? So I'm going to have to figure out, well, who do I leave behind now in order to bring this guy? Because um, everybody in my party is built to fill a specific role. Oh well, that's fun. It'll be something to do later. Yeah. Uh, okay, this cleric has got a bajillion scrolls for sale that I can't afford. Okay, let's go into the temple and see what's inside. Tread lightly. I'm gone.
Ooh. 5% chance. Alright, let's see. I have a... <laughs> I heard you... 5% chance to pick this lock? It just yeah. super looks perfect. Hmm. That's a pretty low percentage chance of picking a lock. Even with a lock pick, it was 30. Oh, I did it. And I got a mushroom. Wow. Follow my steps. Wow. The road Garbage. Away. Let's head out. Let us be careful. Okay. Well, that well. You can see here. Can't believe the game trolled me like that. Put a chest in front of me with a tiny chance to open, so I used a lock pick. And rolled the dice, and I got it. And I was excited, and then it was a mushroom, like nothing, basically. I'm gone. Oh, you guys are rolling. You're a full-fledged mercenary company. Follow my steps. Yep, yeah, gotta start somewhere. No, no, it didn't either for me the first... It was actually... It took like the third or fourth night where I started to see how repetitive the missions were and the inability to really command my squad in any sort of reasonable fashion. Because... Cool. Cool, man. Have a good evening. Okay, let's leave Discord. Boop. We'll turn our headphones off. And we'll plug them in and let them charge while I'm thinking about it now. Okay, so what do we got here? Uh, Arcane Weaver. Mm -hmm. We don't have anybody who polymorphs right now. No. Bunch of cloaks of resistance. We'd probably get Graybore one. What's he's got nothing. But I think we might have some twos or ones at least in the chest. He wears medium armor, so. Okay, so he's... Just, oh, and then more scrolls. Ooh. Ooh. Let's do this. Price in descending order. Wands. Here we go. Here we go. 3,000. These are level 8 spells. Um, what level can Ninio cast right now? Ninio can cast... That's not Ninio. Ninio can cast up to level six spells right now. So our duty calls. Let's talk to the descending order. 
This is a level eight. Uh, level seven. I find level six somewhere. Here we go, level six. Caustic eruption. And get true scene for her. Oh, it's a divination spell. She can't use it. Ooh, that could be good. What does that do? Fire damage. Just take a penalty. Wow, that's pretty big. I think I want some of these summons. Stone to flesh. Do we have that spell? I've heard that that spell is really good. Oh, she can't cast level six. She can only cast level five spells. Okay, we're not going to buy any level 6 spell. Golly, why won't this thing remember? It's probably the mod that keeps um, setting it. Okay, so let's go down. Level 5. Level 5. 6. Stone skin communal. She does not have stone skin communal. Hmm. Let us bide our time. Stone skin communal might be ten minutes. I wonder. Okay, so ten minutes. Enduring spells. Now it's longer than an hour, but shorter than 10 hours, 24 hours. Now last for four hours. So, but if we get greater enduring, longer than five minutes. So greater stone skin would then last 24 hours. Okay, we really haven't had a chance to mess with the things that I do have. We don't have enough spell slots for a lot of these, so... Mind Fog would be great. Okay, so we'll just have to remember to come back here. Alright, Jewelry Trader, what do you got? Level 7 spell. I think we already bought the Ring of Protection. And Band of Bath Intelligence. We were in Charisma. These are cheaper.
Amulet of natural armor. Ooh, ring of protection. Plus three. Goggles of pure sight. Um, okay. Well, I don't have 18,000. We'll be back later for those. Anybody over here? Here's Darian. Let's talk to him. Darian. Hey, you know what? I've noticed a certain cyclical pattern in my life since I met you. First, something happens that leaves me positively intrigued. And then I descend into the depths of fear and anger. And then I start to think about it. It's not so bad. And curiosity comes back. And then everything is more dreadful. Even more dreadful occurs. That sounds great. The demons are taking my home and the city around it was unpleasant enough already. But I thought I can compensate by that by striking up a curious acquaintance and having some new experiences. Then my dearest cousin threw me right in the middle of the crusade and just when I started to see some positives in my current situation, gargoyles kidnapped me. The slaughter in Dresden following my triumphant rescue effectively put out every spark of optimism I had managed to gather. Now the city is in our hands again and it's getting more and more tolerable to stay here. I feel surprisingly good, and I've been beginning to find the city rather enjoyable. This brings me to one reasonable question to mind. What is the next outrageous and dangerous mess you're going to pull me into? I have had a couple more perilous, trial, tra perilous trials and insurmountable challenges in store for you. Was that an overly robust and oblique attempt to thank me and impart just how much you enjoy Dresden? He chuckles off. You really think someone like me is capable of experiencing such virtuous feelings as gratitude and affection? Most certainly not. Your intuition betrays you. I was just mocking you. There was definitely something, some sharp hidden insults under all those florid turns of for phrase. Such as the way aristocrats such as the way of aristocrats and politicians. And yes, I do like Dresden, much to my own surprise. Okay, I should go. We've already talked to you. I'm he didn't done. have anything else to say. We still haven't found Cam. Where is she at? Oh, there she is. Speak of the devil. And she doesn't have anything to say. Hey, and that tavern is not the one the commander goes into, apparently. Follow my steps. Okay. Well, that leaves... Oh, we missed Sila. Somehow, I missed Sila. This is a case where I need to set the hotkey for, uh, like, teleporting. Like that. There it is. Thanks, game. Thanks, modder. Oh. What was her name? The monitor's name is on the Naria Toymaker. Maker of the Toy Box mod. Thank you for saving me time running around here. Okay, she's got nothing new to say to me. Um we're not going to do that every time, but we will do it right here. Because we have to go back in there. Oh, boop. Will it let me go up on the wall? Oh, well. Let us be careful. Let's look out over. Oh, that's cool. That's, oh, look, it's so so painting. Well, hello. He's my boyfriend, and Aro Chalet is my girlfriend. The cleric's gift has rendered the lost chapel almost unrecognizable. Good afternoon, Commander. How can I help you? Okay, thanks for talking to me. My pleasure. Trade. He had nothing new to say. Okay, so let's go inside and make a save game inside for whatever it is that the people inside are going to make me do. Here we go. 
I'm glad I saved right before that because <sighs> matter of fact, I wish I could reload right now, but I can't. Let me do this. So I want to name the save before we go back in. So I have to remember every time I go into my home, <laughs> it's going to trigger as a possibility to trigger uh, one of the events. Save. I need to delete a bunch of these old save games too. In Dresden, uh, after first walk around city, have three war. Okay. Um, yeah, actually, let's do that right. Well, I'll do that later off stream. There's no reason for you guys to watch me tip, tap, delete things. Okay, before you stand a tall, fit man whose dark hair is already tinged with gray, he greets you with a brisk military salute. My name is Captain Thylkind. I command the vanguard of a mercenary group called the Blackstone Company. We come from Andoran to assist you. All right. Uh, I want to know more about you. The man flashes a genuine smile. I don't even know what to say. I'm a soldier and a bit of an explorer and an all right, honest man. All right. Why don't you join up with us? Queen Galfrey paid for our services, but please do not think that we're fighting for gold alone. We are true sons and daughters of Endoran. The ideals of equality and resisting enslavement ring true in our hearts. We will be glad to stand in the way of demons who seek to force mortal kind into bondage. The bulk of our company uh, made camp in Nerosan, but the vanguard consisting of our finest soldiers, if I may add, was put under your command. Excellent. I want to know more about your unit. The Blackstone Company is proud to be reorganized into one of the finest Andorran mercenary regiments. We're not a bunch of unscrupulous sellswords looking to oppress innocents or serve the tyrants of the world. No, we're adventurers eager to get involved in dangerous enterprise and leave it with pockets full of gold and a clear conscience. Which is why we held a vote among our units. We were glad to accept Queen Galfrey's invitation to join the crusade and some of our commanders did voice their displeasure with the sum she offered. But like I said, we Andorans are free people who cannot be pushed around and who cannot be bought, only convinced. Okay, get on with your duties. Yes, ma'am. Glad to be under your command, ma'am. Uh, smiles and <laughs> adds to this offer voice. It will be an honor to serve with you, Commander. If you have any questions, let, let me know. If you need this hawk, I'm happy to lend it here. All right, some more mercenary. Oh, here she comes. Erebus said we're under threat from demons with unusual abilities, like that Naboso who attacked your army at the Lost Chapel. They're very powerful and they're growing in number. If you haven't found out where they're coming from, have you? Arushale looks around shyly and continues lowering her voice as if entrusting you with a personal secret. I think... I, I... I'm not sure, but I think I have a lead. I know where to find someone who can lead us to the source of their power. Who are you talking about? A hag by the name of Jarunika used to live here before the fall of Fikoros. But when the demons invaded this world, she happily took their side. The old cannibal knows many secrets. You just have to make her talk. Does this Jarunika have any special powers? Her? I doubt it. But still be careful. She's a very old, very sly creature, and she's incredibly dangerous. How'd you find out about this? Arashulay look quietly looks at the faces present and seems to curl in on herself. Quietly, almost whispering, she says, That is a long story. I will tell you when we get there, alright? Where can I find her? The place is called the Green Gates. I'll show you how to get there. Green Gates has been revealed. Long before the world wound, there was a Sarconian fortress there. Then Crusaders built a small chapel, but for many, many years, the place has been home to nothing but an abomination and squalor. Thanks for the tip. Happy to help. It's just, she looks around cautiously again and lowers her voice. 
You won't go there without me, will you? I want to personally make sure this monster doesn't escape you. Oh, you'll be going. Okay, so now let's save again. Okay, uh, let's talk to Rigel. He doesn't have anything to say. Let's talk to Arabeth. How's Eagle Watch doing here in Canterbury? Uh, how's the Canterbury Watch? Eagle Watch doing in Canterbury? Everything's going well. I was wary of handing over the reins at first. I was afraid that everything would fall apart without Nvidia and me. But I took a risk and left a very clear lad in charge, a tiefling. As it happened, he infiltrated the cult alone. They couldn't imagine a tiefling would be on their side. He exposed an entire cell. I personally knighted him just before the city was attacked. Of course, there are many who weren't happy about it, but it's not my job to make people happy. He hasn't disappointed. He's built up the Order's ranks again, and he's running everything so smoothly. It's as if the demon attack never happened. He's proven more than once that I left Canterbury in good hands. And I, but I will admit, it's strange to think that such a smaller, such a small order of the Eagle Watch now has... Ah... Strange to think that th that such a small order as the Eagle Watch now has two chapters, one in Dresden and one in Cambrai. We need to talk about what happened during the attack. She nods curtly. Yes, I was shamefully faint-hearted. Praise Iomede. It didn't affect the course of the battle. Still, my behavior was unworthy of a knight and even less of a commander. Oh, she's breaking my heart. Under the circumstances, leaving my position would be tantamount to desertion. Still, as your advisor, I strongly recommend you release me from my position as head of the order and strip me of my knighthood and serve, and send me to serve in the condemned. What? Who will lead the Eagle Watch then? I have no one to replace you. My suggestion is no better than desertion. You want me to take responsibility for it? I don't want to hear it. Join the ranks, knight. And Fight as you swore to. <laughs> yes, you're right. You aren't really much used. Unfortunately, I don't have anyone to replace you right now. We're going to go with the good response. If you deserve these titles more than you, don't blame yourself. Under the circumstances, you did everything possible and more besides. Thank you, Commander. Gratitude in Erebus' voice to sincere, a spark of enthusiasm appears to be in her eyes, which had grown dull over the recent week. The half-orc salutes you sharply. For a moment, you once again see the Arabeth who is ready to protect Defender's heart to her dying breath. Thank you for trusting me. More than anyone else does in this crusade. Even more than I trust myself. Despite your words, Arabeth obviously still feels unworthy of her commander's rank. Changing her mind will require more than platitudes. Perhaps you can bolster her... her by appointing her to a position where she can work more closely with rank-and-file soldiers, whose faith in their commander remains undimmed. Okay. So we gained some experience from that. That says goodbye with a short bow. Okay, and Aminia. Look who it is! Hi. Have you figured out how the demons have been sneaking up on us? So what do you think of my new powers? She looks at you with a tinge of embarrassment. Don't take this the wrong way. I'm not brown as in here. But you were the commander of the cru you are the commander of the crusader needed. The crusade needed. Righteous, good, and with justice in their heart. Sometimes you look at these high and mighty true believers and all their perfectness and it makes me want to throw up. I don't get that from you. I jump into the jaws of a demon for you. Did you find any anything about where Monago went? Nope. Zero. Zilch. Whole lot of nothing. The scum melted into thin air. Soldier Shaw jump out the window and run through the square of the front of the citadel and suddenly disappeared. We haven't heard anything from her since. And I don't like it. I'm telling you, this is bad. First of all, her kind don't just give up. And if we can't see her, it means she's setting a trap for us somewhere we won't expect. I mean, it would be great if the demon lords gobbled her up for all of her failures, but I think that's too much to hope for. <laughs> that is too much to hope for. But the worst, but that's not the worst part. We have a more interesting question, you know. I wondered how she teleported from the city. If by the time you were already hung the banner, soldiers are saying it probably wasn't in full force by then. But you and I both know that's dross. She wasn't supposed to be able to teleport, but she did. The question is how. 
Maybe she didn't. Maybe she just camouflaged herself. Have you figured out how the demons have been sneaking up on us? She answers with scarcely concealed irritation. No dice. Her scouts crawled all the way around, down every hole, nothing. The gray world was completely empty, and then bam, a whole army popped up like a jack in a box. My only lead is a few scouts who didn't come back from the gorges to the southwest. But we found no sign of secret path, paths or underground passageways. Definitely no route we can use to quickly move a large force through. But I feel in my gut there's some evil scum out there. We just have to look harder. Of course, I could send out more scouts, but they might just disappear like the first ones. Why don't you go there yourself and find out what's what? She punches her fist into her palm. You know, I'd like to give that rat Nura a good shake. How long was she serving the demons, I wonder? I bet a good silver if I turned her upside down and shook her as hard as I could, something interesting would fall out, not just lice. Okay, I've got to go. Okay, yeah, we've, we've, we've done that. We can go back, I guess. Um, is there anybody else here? Okay, there's nobody else. There's my room and my personal chest. Okay, so here we go. We'll save right here and then go manage Crusade Affairs. And then this. Wow, this looks familiar, doesn't it? You have... Now that you've captured Dresden, a few options for the Crusade have become available to you. You can construct new buildings and forts in Dresden, issue decrees and capture and investigate new regions. Both mercenary and trainable units will appear in the commander's headquarters in Dresden. The demon armies will try to take Dresden from you, destroy them, or else, after seven days of siege, Dresden will be completely blockaded by enemy forces. You will no longer be able to command the Crusade. To access the Crusade management menu, click the button in the bottom right corner of the screen on the global map. Developing each of the Crusade stats opens up new options to, that empower your armies and economy, military forces on drilling and training units, recruit both trainable and mercenary units to improve the rank of your military staff. Logistics focuses on economy and construction. Construct buildings to improve your rank of your logistics. Diplomacy focuses on establishing contacts with mercenary and foreign nations, enhance the significance of the crusade, earning resources of all types to improve your diplomacy staff. Leadership focuses on morale and army generals win battles and level up your generals to improve the rank of your leadership staff. Once the rank up requirements for one of the crusader stats have been met, you will unlock the corresponding decree. For your military campaign will require three types of resources. Finance points are used for all the Crusaders' various needs. Military points are used for building construction, energy points for the recruitment of mythic units and completion of certain decrees. You gain new resources every day. Prevailing over demon armies and battles and constructing certain buildings increases the number of resources. You can also purchase the required resources. Cool. <sighs> okay, so rank up. Okay, so we've got a council of officers seizing the art of war will help the commander implement new tactics and diversify our armies with more skilled units. The crusade depends on the support of Nerosin in foreign countries. The diplomatic council will see fit. Fire diplomacy. So can I just pass these and that's it? Let's do this. I don't know what this means. So can I just get out of this? Nope. 
Okay, so exiting out of that didn't do anything. Okay, on the Crusade management screen, you can make decisions regarding current events, which are displayed in the bottom of the screen to the left. Issue decrees, which can be displayed by clicking on the decree buttons right. You can display only a fraction of the available decrees by selecting one of the filters, okay? Construct buildings, uh, the access construction. Gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, can I do this? Pass decree. Okay, so both of those are passed. I mean, why wouldn't we? Army? I don't know what these red ones... Okay, this is why we have. Arabeth has been reported to a squad commander in the Vanguard. Our military. Lost scouts. So these are done. Okay. Scouts, probably the source of the scouts have conducted a search for their missing power. Okay. So well, we'll let that go. I guess. It didn't. Relics. Fate of the Crest of the Fallen Knight. Requires things I don't have. I don't know what diamonds and materials are, but I don't have them. And I don't have those. Okay, so we can't do any of that. Army, Military Tribunal. Breakers of Camilla thus said the commander will fight for the lost chapel. She then ordered military tribunals to be organized for the army. Now Dresden is free and the commander's advisors have the opportunity to carry out this order. All units gain the military tribunal free. Okay, I don't have those resources either. Outpost to Bastion upgrading an outpost okay, not enough resources. Decrees. You can only have one of your decrees issued for each of the Crusader stats at a time. Each decree has a cost and completion time. Some decrees can only be issued once. Others have a repeat time displayed in the description window. Oh. Your progress in the Crusade management unlocks certain special decrees. A stat of decree becomes a meeting of special specific rank up requirements. A relic upgrade turns a relic into a powerful artifact. Okay. So this was logistics and that was military. So now that we've done both of those and that's diplomacy. So those are the three that I have going. And we have these events. A large group of suspicious individuals has arrived at the gates of Dresden. They wish to join the crusade. Officers have recognized a number of thieves and murderers among the ranks. It seems that the newcomers are only interested in the spoils of war. Should they be accepted? Ooh, I wonder what was there. Uh, eight rogues and eight bandits.
group of officials from Nero Center are on their way to Dresden and want to inspect the crusade. Clarence, what kind of welcome should they receive? Okay, I like that it tells me what the reward is going to be. Finance points increases by 30. Oh, which one do we need the most of? We need materials points. Yeah, why would it, why would you ever pick that increases finance by 30. That increases finance income increases. And its points income increased by 30, 30, 4,000 leadership. Okay, so you get a bunch of leadership if you just do the cold. If you do this, you get diplomacy. We need more leadership right now. This gives us a small amount of military. Well, this doesn't do anything. Why would you choose nothing? Yeah, I think they messed up here. I think they messed up. I think lavish should be more finance points. I think it should be like this one's 4,000 leadership versus 3,000. And 30, so I think this should be 40 finance points. Okay, so the real question is do we want leadership or diplomacy? But this gives us finance and diplomacy. To finance and diplomacy. And then here, I kind of want to do raising heroes and get paladins and marksmen, but it's six and eight. And it's going to require 2,000 finance points. Yeah, I'm going to send them away. Now, I think the right thing to do is this. Give us another decree. Because we're not lawful. Lawful would be arresting them. Neutral would be accepting them, would be neutral good. Sending them away would be neutral, neutral. This would be evil, and then this would be good. It will do good. Arashle is certain that service in the crusade reforms these she has assigned experienced officers to guide them along with the combat training they teach the bandits on about honor and valor okay uh there and yeah, we can't do any of these things because we have there's logistics so regions Keeper's Canyon, nothing built yet.
Jason, I can go, yeah. Well, let's enter Jason. Let's enter Dresden. Okay. You build. Oh, my. Um. This is pretty amazing. Can we have a quest to complete a stable? But we don't have the resources for that. We need a main barracks, probably. That'd be my guess. Oh, we need archers. Yes, we need archers, and we need... Sanctuary, Walter, the Center. Okay, so high priority. Okay, so let's look through this again. Alchemist and laboratory. Plus 10 bonus for energy for all minerals. Plus 10 hit points for all trainable units. Ah, in adjacent buildings. Okay, so we're going to want to put that near our thing. Uh, plus one AC to all trainable units in adjacent buildings. Okay, so if I put like an arsenal here, and get a building and a building. We can put another thing here and get a building here. Would that be how that works? So like if I put the archery range here, you can get the the pocket theory and the arsenal on either side. This is the cost of construction of buildings by 10%. Oh yeah, we definitely want that. Um, we want that before we start building everything else. Uh, how long does that take to build? Three days. It seems like you'd want to build that first. And put that someplace that can be off by itself. And then that'll make everything else cheaper. Uh, unselect it, please. Hall of Glory. Valuable treasures. Capture big potatoes. Draw. For the chance, sir. Uh, Hall of Glory reduces the cost of mercenary units. Okay. Hospital provides a 
benefit in the infirmary size. That's useful. Uh, comfortable in in increases finance. There are no other buildings that provide recruitment growth in the fort. Uh, wait, what? The must for tracking merchants. An inn increases finance income by 200 if there are no buildings that provide recruitment growth in the fort. Okay, so we build this out in a fort and not have, like, an archery range. Okay, those sound like we'd want to start with that. Sanctuary. Okay, so we can put this increases energy point income. Uh, shelter. The shelter allows the commander's party to rest in the fort without increasing the effects of this old corruption. Ooh, that's handy. Smithy plus one to attack. So we have hit points, attack, and AC that can all supplement um, units. Supply center, advance your state deeper into enemy territories. The supply center is the Citadel Scribes, whose job it is to face. Okay, once a supply center increases in shield point income by three, only one supply center can be built in each. Teleportation circle connects the Crusader's forts, allowing forces to be transported quickly. A teleportation circle allows the commander's party to teleport to this fort from anywhere on the map. Okay, that's going to save us time. Because if we can go travel out somewhere and then just teleport back, we only have to worry about... Okay, so that's going to be building number two. We have enough for that. 200, 500. We have enough for that right now. But this is 300. So we're going to need to get... We have enough for the engineer's workshop. And then we're going to have to go do something with our armies or something to get more materials. All trainable units and adjacent. Okay, so 10% bonus to damage. So we have damage, health, AC, and hit. Uh, one of a garrison. All watch out for all units in the fort's area of control. Plus one. Saving throws attacking initiative. Okay, that's handy. So the first thing is going to be told. Maybe teleportation circle. Maybe engineer's workshop. We haven't had a chance to look at the map. Let's see if we can back out of this. Let's back out of that and see if we can look at the map. Yeah, here we go. So we have this fort. Yeah, we're going to have to take our armies out. We're going to have to see our armies and see what we can find out here. And then but I still think we go with the engineer's place first. So I'm going to risk that. Because that will save resources in the long run. Okay. So then let's leave this. And then let's skip some time so we can get these events to go by actually let's not skip time these decree are date one day so yeah we'll just go out and we'll look at the map and maybe take our armies and do stuff with them tomorrow all right everybody we're headed to bed. We'll pick up this tomorrow.